I read one article uh, by another psychiatrist in California, and he's he said he prefers to call it neurotoxicity because there's no language for this protracted thing in medicine that happens. I love that neurotoxicity that may repair itself and may not. Mm -hmm. Such uncertainty. And yeah. that might be part of it, Nicole. I'm not sure that physicians like to live with uncertainty. And I like, I think they don't like to, to work with what they don't know and they don't understand. Yeah. They, they like to have the answer. And this, this is, um, it's painful to watch and you can't fix it fast. And maybe it's permanent for some, not typically, mm -hmm. but I'm sure there are people out there who, you know, go years and years and don't return to normal. Yeah. I, I have never seen that in my, in my 23 years, just to give people who are listening hope. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know how much of that you've seen uh, where well, it never goes back to normal. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely a debate that that goes on in the communities, whether, you know, is it normal? I've heard from other physicians who say that there are probably a small percentage of people for which certain things don't resolve, right? Um, but that most of them agree that people get back to a functional state, at least mm -hmm. if they are left with some things. But again, I think that's where it's such a scary thing to go through because, we don't have answers for all of it. No one has taken the time to study people right. in the withdrawal chronically right. and long-term in these protracted syndromes, you know? So it's, yeah. we, we don't know. And that's why people are so desperately afraid um, and calling and beating down the door and, you know, right. wanting support from their doctor constantly because they want to know. You know, it's, it's interesting. I've got a physician that um, he was drinking too much and taking uh, two milligrams of clonopin a day for 10 years, young guy, brilliant guy. And he is one year post Valium taper has stopped. Mm -hmm. He's still living with his parents uh, and uh, can't cook for himself. He is working uh, at a part-time position, uh, but he's pretty agoraphobic, doesn't like to go out of the house and can't read. And that's the biggest problem for him because he used to love to use his brain and read. And he sits down and he gets um, like akathisia if he's trying to sit and read. And as cognitively, there's some impairment around reading. He's, I mean, he didn't lose any IQ points, but he's just very, very uncomfortable in his own skin, even at the one year mark. Mm 